We're going to have to speak loud today. I think we have some, unfortunate, some competition uh, up, up above. But I'll say this, we have no more important issue than we have here today. You know, first of all, I'm uh, Assembly Minority Leader Will Barkley. I want to thank uh, everybody for coming out today. Uh, you know, in Albany, we talk a lot about big issues. We talk about things like the budget. We talk about crime. And we've talked a lot about inflation. But the one thing I don't think we talk enough about is quality of life issues. And that's why I'm so happy that we have Santi Patel, we have Josh Jensen, Assemblyman Josh Jensen, and Senator Matera, who have brought this issue to light. And the issue, of course, is about uh, having handicapped, excuse me, accessible playground equipment for children with disabilities. And I can't imagine, we get very partisan, unfortunately, in Albany, but I can't imagine whether you're a Democrat, Republican, conservative, or liberal, of how you don't want to support uh, playground equipment, particularly on a day like this beautiful day, we finally have some good warm spring weather, that we want children with disabilities to be able to get out there and play with their colleagues and maybe make uh, new friends. So I'm very happy to be here and support the Everyone Can Play legislation that the Senator and Assemblyman are putting forth today. And again, I want to thank those two. I want to thank, thank Santi, and I want to thank all the members of the legislature that are here today to help push this through. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to my good friend and colleague from the Rochester area, Assemblyman Josh Jensen. Thank you. Thank you, Leader. Uh, I truly appreciate it, and I, I appreciate my colleagues for joining, on this, joining us this morning. Uh, while we're standing here, it's so great to hear on the floor above us that even though they couldn't be here with us, they're cheering on this idea. <laughs> because everyone can play. It shouldn't be a difficult concept to comprehend. It shouldn't be a difficult priority to focus on. The idea that regardless of ability, that every child who calls a community home should have the ability and the opportunity to play with their friends. However, for many local governments across New York State, the cost of making this investment may be too much. And that's why I'm so glad I've had my colleagues join me in the idea of Everyone Can Play State Funding Program. What this bill would do would allow for New York State to give grants of up to $100,000 for local governments to add handicap accessible aspects to the recreation facilities, whether on a playground, in a community center, or any place kids want to play. In my community in the town of Greece, we had our own Everyone Can Play grant program. And that program was Santi Smiles run by my good friend and my neighbor, Santi Patel. Now Santi's gonna tell her story about why she was moved to make this her priority at the ripe old age of nine. But when she saw injustice, when she saw something that wasn't right in our community where we call home, she stepped up. And she helped to raise over $10,000 to ensure that the children of the town of Greece had the ability to play that every child could play. And with the partnership of Bill Radlick, the Greece Town Supervisor, uh, the Greece Parks and Recreation Department, and some very generous national support groups, including Kelly Clarkson, they were able to make Santi's dream a reality. Like Leader Barclay said, this isn't a partisan issue. Whether you're Republican, Democrat, liberal, conservative, we can all agree that regardless of ability, kids should play. In a recent poll, over 90% of parents believe that having accessibility aspects to playgrounds was important. And it's not just swings and other equipment. It's even things as simple as having wider entrances, safety surfaces, more space, Circular playground design helps children who are autistic enjoy playgrounds. 
having common and recognizable objects on a playground helps children with, physical, with visual impairments. This is a very simple thing for local communities to prioritize, and I hope that New York State will help them to accomplish that priority. And with that, I want to bring up the true star of the show, my friend, Santi Patel. I feel that kids like me should be able to play together and grow as friends. When I was six, I saw a girl and she couldn't play with on the playground because she used a wheelchair. And that made me sad because everyone should have a chance to play together and grow as a family of friends. To change that, I sold hot cocoa in the winter and in the summer, I sold lemonade to raise the money. The town of Greece and Endless Highway, including Mr. Webb at, and the Kelly Clocks and so, they helped my dreams, so thank you all those who helped me. Thank you, Santi. And next, I want to bring up uh, my good friend, uh, Senator Mario Matera from the great Suffolk County on Long Island. <laughs> give me a high five on that one. Can it, come on, let's give a round of applause. <laughs> Santi, that... <clears throat> I, I, I'm going to tell you, that takes a lot of courage, and this is the future of politics right over here. That's going to be our elected official coming because you know what? Raising money is not an easy task. And look, $10,000. Unbelievable. But first of all, I want to thank Assemblyman Josh Jensen for leading the, way, leading the way on this important issue and joining me to fight to make sure that all children in New York State are able to enjoy outdoor equally. You know, this is so important, you know, Lita Barkley, I just want to, Barclays, thank you so, so much for being here today, because, you know, everybody can play. How important it is, what we've been going through with life, just with the pandemic, and people couldn't go to our parks, and it was very, very upsetting to all. You know, I want a special welcome our Sante Patel again, and her parents. Let's have a round of applause for their parents. You know, you know, parents are so important. You guys have to be so, so proud of your daughter that she brought this to your attention. And you know what? And we are also. Who is showing all of us adults the kindness that can lead change. You are a very special young lady and it's truly an honor to work with you. You know, my office first started, and this is amazing. Assemblyman Jensen and myself, it wasn't like we got together and we sat in our room and we came up with this. What happened was we have somebody very, very special, Lois Fricky with uh, um, the Long Island Home Builders Care back on Long Island. She would go to the park with her granddaughter and she would see at the parks that there were people sitting there in wheelchairs that had a disability and they're sitting there watching their friends play. How sad is that? That would, right there, I would, I would make something myself right away to make sure, but you know what, Lois, came forward to me and she said, we need to do something with the state of New York to make sure that any kind of renovation moving forward with New York State Parks has to have and some kind of handicap um, apparatus. So what happened, Lois went and looked and saw that Assemblyman Jensen had a bill. And there it was, everybody can play. And you know what, so we joint ventured and we came up, we have two different bills and you know what, but they're in sync with each other. So you know what, she led the way for the building of the playgrounds that include an apparatus for every child and has been active in, to ensure that the state is gonna lead the way. And this is again, Lois Fricky. And that due to her um, advances doing today that I thank her for her efforts. She along with town supervisor of town of Babylon, Rich Schaefer, were instrumental in this process. While they could not be here today, they should be commended for all of their work. 
Assembly and Jensen and I are working on this to make sure that New York takes the lead on this very, very important matter for all of our children in need. All New York children with disabilities should be able to play with their friends. And right now, some are being left behind due to the lack of playground facilities. These bills will help local areas make the purchase they need to make sure that the state facilities have the equipment our children need and deserve. No one should be left out, and I am proud to partner with Assembly and Jensen, Santi, parents, to make sure that everybody can play. So please, make sure we need to support, we need to make sure that this legislation gets done in this session, which would be, mean a lot to both of us. And guess what? This isn't about politics. This is about our families, because remember, our families mean everything to us. And without families, we have nothing. Again, Santi, you are my idol. You are somebody that I look up to, and I thank you so much for getting up here. I know that was tough, but you did it. And thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. I'll defer both to the Senator and the Assemblyman, but are there any questions? Okay, hearing none, again, let's get this thing done. This isn't a complicated issue, right? And Santi, thank you for all you're doing. Keep up your advocacy, and we look forward to serving with you in a few years right here in Albany, okay? <laughs> all right, thank you very much, everybody.